Dear students, in the previous class, we have obtained the market demand curve by the horizontal summation of individual demand curves. That is, we simply add together quantities demanded by consumers A and B at alternative prices. That analysis was based on the assumption that individual demand functions are independent of each other. As an example, quantity demanded of apples by individual A is independent of quantity demanded of apples by individual B. But this is not true always. For some commodities, one person's demand also depends on demand by other persons. In particular, a person's demand may be affected by number of other persons purchased the commodity. That is, a person's demand for a commodity is affected by number of persons purchased that commodity. And this is an example of network externalities. This is an example of network externalities. Network ex ex externalities exist when a person's demand is affected by other person's consumption of the commodity. That is, when the demand of a person is affected by the demand by other persons, we say that network externalities exist. This network externalities can be positive or it can be negative. Network externalities can be positive or negative. Network externality is positive if the quantity demanded by one consumer increases in response to quantities demanded by other consumers. And uh, network externality is negative if quantity demanded by a typical consumer decreases in response to quantity demanded by other consumers other consumers. Now, one example of a positive network externality is bandwagon effect. One example of a positive network externality is the bandwagon effect. Bandwagon effect is defined as the desire to be in style, to possess a good because almost everyone else has it, to indulge in fad. Bandwagon effect uh, is the desire to be in style, to possess a good because everyone else has it, to indulge in fat. So, bandwagon effect is an example of a positive network externality. Now, as the number of consumers consuming such a commodity increases, the more desirable the commodity becomes to the individual. 
as the number of consumers purchasing the commodity increases the more desirable the commodity becomes to the individual a person develops demand for a commodity simply because many others demanded it and uh, bandwagon effect often arises with the children's toys bandwagon effect generally occurs in the case of children's toys for example barbie doll if one child has a barbie doll other children also wish to possess it so positive one example of a network externality is is one positive one example of a positive network externality is bandwagon effect actually exploiting the bandwagon effect is a major objective in marketing and advertising toys that is exploiting the bandwagon effect is a major ob- objective of companies producing and selling toys and if bandwagon effect exists market demand curve will shift and bandwagon effect results in the market demand curve shifting outwards as individual consumers demand increases in response to increased demand by others and if bandwagon effect exists that is network externality exists a simple summation of individual demands without taking into account network externalities will not give you the true market demand network externalities if it exists causes shift in the market demand curve in response to more and more consumers purchasing the commodity whether it is positive or negative so if we add together uh, if we add together quantities purchased by consumers of a commodity at various prices this will not represent the true market demand we have to take into account the network externalities also network externalities should also be taken into account so if positive network externalities exists it a simple summation of individual demands do not take into accounts consumers increase in demand when others increase their demand and hence underestimate the true market demand as i told you network externalities can be positive or negative one example of a positive network externality is bandwagon effect we will explain this separately so it can be positive or negative if a network externality exists whether it is positive or negative this should also be considered when trying to derive market demand curve if you do not consider this you will either underestimate or overestimate the true market depending on whether there is positive or negative network externalities let let us first consider the case of positive network externalities suppose that we have two individuals a and b
individual and the demand curves are given like this suppose suppose also that when the price of x is px star px star quantity demanded is eight for the same px star quantity demanded is eight five adding together it is thirty p x star this is the market demand in the absence of any network externalities that is x a x b then demand for x is the summation of x a and x b dx at the prices p star x 8 is q star a this is q star b and this is quantity demanded qd but individual consumers demand curves are positively influenced by the demand by other consumers and this results in a further outward shift of the demand curves shown as x dash a x dash b and summing together you have a d dash x d dash x let it be 13 let it be 7 and this is 20 so this shift occurs in response to quantities purchased by others quantities purchased by others so total demand is not 8 plus 5 13 it is 13 plus 7 20 13 plus 7 20 this is the example of positive network externality positive network externality its opposite is negative network externality so in this case this shift is positive network externalities if a negative network externality exists you will get the opposite case px like this let it be the quantities being 13 and 7 so this is 20 but as a result of network externalities there is a, when more and more persons purchase there is a shift in the individual demand goes towards the left like this so the actual quantities are instead of 13 it is 8 and it is 5 so it is 13 total so market demand is not 20 market demand is only 8 plus 5 13 that is the difference so this is network and so if you believe that there is a, a network externality in the case of any commodity you will not get the true market demand by simply summing horizontally quantities demanded by the consumers you have to take into account the shift in the demand curve resulting from network externalities positive or negative